What's going on is I've got this little three by three grid of values that's marching along our original image. And if we zoom in, each one of those values is one ninth. And what I'm doing at each iteration is multiplying each of those values by the corresponding pixel that it sits on top of. And of course, in computer science, we think of colors as little vectors of three values representing the red, green, and blue components. When I multiply all these little values by one ninth and I add them together, it gives us an average along each color channel and the corresponding pixel for the image on the right is defined to be that sum. The overall effect as we do this for every single pixel on the image is that each one kind of bleeds into all of its neighbors, which gives us a blurrier version than the original. In the lingo, we'd say that the image on the right is a convolution of our original image with a little grid of values. If we modify this slightly, we can get a much more elegant blurring effect by choosing a different grid of values. In this case, I have a little five by five grid. If we zoom in, we notice that the value in the middle is a lot bigger than the value towards the edges. And where this is coming from is they're all sampled from a bell curve known as a Gaussian distribution. That way, when we multiply all of these values by the corresponding pixel that they're sitting on top of, we're giving a lot more weight to that central pixel. It gives a blurring effect, which much more authentically simulates the notion of putting your lens out of focus.